early morning in the Schaub household. The night's rest comes to an abrupt end. Mrs. Schaub has a bad feeling about this. Her husband is normally healthy and has no physical problems. Without hesitation, she picks up the phone and calls the emergency doctor. Shortly afterwards, an ambulance arrives to collect Mr. Schaub. The emergency doctor has given him a painkiller and regularly checks the patient's vital signs. Due to the symptoms, the doctor suspects renal colic. He checks Mr. Schaub into Euroviva by phone. He was 58 years old and had a doubt on nieren colic. We are in about five minutes by you. Good, thank you. A short time later, he's in the specialist clinic, where he's handed over to the Euroviva emergency team. Herr Schaub, wie geht's Ihnen? Once he's in the consulting room, Mr. Schaub seems to be feeling a bit better. My name is Krauser from the Euroviva. I will now examine him physically. Dr. Krauser welcomes the patient and obtains a general idea of his state of health. Weiter unten geht es? Ja, gut. An ultrasound scan quickly reveals to the doctor that there is renal congestion and a stone, which is the cause of the terrible pain. The problem can be explained as follows. The kidneys are organs in the urinary system, which are arranged as a pair. One function of the kidneys is the excretion of the end products of metabolism by producing urine. This is excreted from the body through the urinary tract. Kidney stones are formed when there is an increase in the concentration of urinary elements which are not easily soluble. These elements begin to form deposits that once they reach a certain size can no longer pass through the urinary tract. If the stones migrate into the ureter, they can get stuck in tighter spots. When the ureter tries to carry the stone further, this leads to cramping of the system, which causes extreme pain in the patient known as renal colic. Also Herr Schaub, wir haben in der Ultraschalluntersuchung einen großen Stein in der Niere gesehen. In the course of the examination, Dr. Krauser explains to his patient the options available for removing the kidney stone. Due to the location of the stone, the doctor suggests a lithotripsy using shock waves. This is an established method which is gentle and non-invasive. As a first aid measure to bridge the period until the therapy, Mr. Schaub is fitted with a ureteral stent, also known as a pigtail stent. The aim of this uteral stent is to ensure that the urine can drain again, which prevents the dangerous combination of infection and urinary retention. It also stops the severe pain Mr. Schaub has been suffering. A pigtail can remain in the body for up to three months. This means that there will be plenty of time to make a convenient appointment for the shockwave therapy. A few days later, Mr. Schaub receives confirmation of the appointment from Euroviva. He and his wife have found out more about the procedure and he now feels well prepared. At the appointed time, he checks into Euroviva, where he's given a warm welcome. Because the procedure is performed very gently, Mr. Schaub will soon be able to return home. After a preliminary consultation with the anesthesiologist, Mr. Schaub is in the operating theatre a few hours later. Shockwave therapy uses groups of shock waves which are aimed at the affected area to try to break down the stone into small enough pieces to enable them to be eliminated naturally. During the procedure, which takes about an hour, the kidney stone is, so to speak, targeted and in the course of the therapy is broken down so that it can be washed away through the urinary tract. The equipment automatically detects the position of the stone. If the patient shifts slightly, this ensures that the stone is always in the center of the shock waves and the surrounding tissue is not affected. Just a few hours after the operation, Mr. Schaub receives a visit from his wife. That same evening, they both refresh themselves with delicacies from the Euroviva kitchen. They drink to the procedure with a glass of good red wine and look forward to their forthcoming holiday in Italy.